Hello and welcome to Tuner Tips by Totterbird. In front of us with the XH Data 18650 3000 mAh unprotected button top batteries. You can get a two pack for $9.98 from xhdata.com.cn with free shipping to the US and Germany. Not bad. You can also get a single unprotected button top for a total of $7.79 shipped, but spend the extra $2.20 and get the two pack. Makes sense, right? Right. <laughs> Um, so yeah, these are pretty cool batteries. Uh, I was excited to find them on their website. These are hard to find, these unprotected button tops, and usually there's a little premium attached to them. So when you find them uh, for five bucks a piece shipped, that's nice. Um, I'm pretty happy with it, and from a decent label, um, and they're pretty straightforward about what capacity you're going to get. So let's look at the specs that they advertised on their page. So the specs for these batteries. Here we go. Nominal capacity, 3,000 milliamp hour. Minimum capacity is 2,450 milliamp hours. Now that caught my eye, minimum capacity. What that means is you're guaranteed that value or higher, okay? You're not guaranteed 3,000s, which, yeah, I wish, you know, I guess that's the way they do it because they source these batteries from different companies and they just relabel them as a 3,000 cell, even though it, you're probably not going to get 3,000s. I did not get 3,000s, but I did get well over the advertised minimum capacity, which is good. And we'll talk about the capacities uh, that I tested on my batteries. I got a total of four of them. So a decent test um, on the four gives me a basic idea of what you're going to get. So nominal voltage, 3.7 volts. Uh, standard charging current, 0.2C. That means multiply the uh, capacity of the battery times 0.2, and that gives you 600. Uh, so 600 milliamps charging current. Max charging current is half the capacity of the battery, which is 1.5 amps. Uh, and of course, 4.2 volts. Uh, let's see, that mentioned standard charging current again for some reason. Okay, max discharging current is 1C, which is the battery's capacity, 3000, which is 3 amps. Uh, standard discharging current, again, 600 uh, milliamps. Down here, ending voltage, 2.75 volts. That's pretty standard. Charging times and weight of 45 grams. I can't check that. Uh, that probably will vary. That's why it says about 45 grams. So it could be 40 grams. It could be a little higher, a little lower. Just depends. Um, so there you are. Okay, so that's what they advertise. At least they're straightforward about what you can expect for your batteries when you order them. Is 2450 bad? No, it's not compared to your original 2000s. This piece of paper out of the way. So yeah, there's a good reasons why you're going to upgrade. Big time. So I tested my four 3,000 cells. This is what I got. Two of the cells tested at 2650 uh, milliamp hours. Pretty nice. They hold their voltage after 24 hours at 4.15 volts. Uh, two other cells I tested at 2850. Not bad. Almost 2900 on one of them. Um, so getting close to 3000, which is fantastic. Um, and they held their voltages as well after 24 hours. So decent. Uh, I'm going to say definitely a buy uh, for the money because these, again, are hard to, to locate and find. And they're made for your XH data radios. <laughs> and we'll show a few radios in this video and show you what kind of options you can have. So, um, yeah, they come in this little white box, individually packed. So there you go. 2650, 2850 basically is what you're probably going to get. You're going to probably get between 26 and 2800. Uh, maybe even 25 at the lowest and maybe 3000 at the highest. So keep that in mind when you're buying these, not a bad value. Again, the stock batteries, 2000 milliamp hour, you'd think, well, that's pretty good. Why would I want to change? Well, I'll be honest with you. I tested the four out of my radios. Three of them came out of radios that I don't use a whole lot. One comes out of radio I've used quite a bit. And uh, so the varying ones, like the D808's battery, uh, it tested at 1358 milliamp hours. Now remember, it's a four-year-old battery. People that have a D808 um, or say the, the CO Don, the new one, still made probably by XH Data. Um, it runs on an unprotected button top, but it can also fit a protected button top, but it's tight, just to let you know. But it will fit. It will not run it on an unprotected flat top, just to let you know. Um, I already put the uh, yellow cell in here, so one of them is in here, and I'm happy with it. Uh, but they, they wonder why they discharge so fast. Well, that's why, because the capacity must drop off after time. So yeah, 1,358 milliamp hour for that one. That was not cool. <laughs> That's really low. I put it in the BL5C territory, guys. Not fun. Uh, other two batteries. Uh, let's see. We have one from a D368. Uh, That's a cool little radio. Uh, if you haven't seen that radio, it's this one here. Uh, it's great on headphones for stereo listening. Everything's stereo. Beautiful on headphones. Got to do it. 
If you're listening to this radio uh, with the speaker, speaker sounds fantastic when you're doing mono uh, programming, podcasts, uh, AM, shortwave, sounds great. If you do FM stereo, it cuts the right channel. If you do anything stereo with the Bluetooth, um, with MP3 player, it cuts the right channel, which is a weird thing. Uh, plus the AM band is 9 kilohertz stepped, just so you know. But this is a fantastic FM stereo radio and MP3 and Bluetooth radio on headphones. I love it. I'll so just let you know. Cool radio, Type-C chargeable, takes the unprotected button tops, and only will take those unprotected button tops. And its battery, I tested it at 1,535 milliamp hours. Its voltage stayed pretty good at 4.1 volts after 24 hours. So there's that. <clears throat> Next radio is the D109. Uh, um, not a bad radio. Um, that one there, uh, its battery tested at 1,767 milliamp hours. And uh, voltage dropped though on that battery to 3.9 volts after 24 hours. Probably not a good thing. That's a pretty big drop from 4.2 to 3.94 without being used. So that's another reason probably to ditch the stock battery. Uh, so yeah, that gets rid of that one. And then the last battery came out of my D901, which was similar capacity to the D368. The D901 is an awesome radio, guys. If you don't have this, pick it up. This radio can be had for under 25 bucks. It's a beast. Look how big this thing is. It runs on D cells. It runs on 18650, unprotected button top. And uh, yeah, just throw in the new cell and you'll be rocking for a long time. I love this radio. It's fantastic. It's got a media player. It's got, uh, you got your uh, switch between Bluetooth, MP3 player, Type-C rechargeable. You got an auxiliary antenna input. It picks up shortwave well, picks up AM well. It also picks up uh, FM fantastic. This is just an overall great radio for the money. Um, and it's just a decent size. Even got a flashlight on one side here. I love it. <laughs> so that's the 901. And its battery, again, is a... Uh, it came in at uh, 1,538 milliamp hours, and its voltage, uh, I believe, dropped off at 3.9 volts. So again, something that uh, you're going to want to replace. So get rid of that. So yeah, rock on. You want these yellow cells. <laughs> I don't make any money uh, uh, advertising these batteries. I'm not an affiliate with XH Data. I just found these batteries, so I'd share this with you, because these are also good in your favorite cheap portables, such as the... The day is AM FM shortwave radio. This is a fun little sweetheart of a radio. It takes 18650 unprotected. So it's got a little unscrew spot here, and you'll find that it's unprotected button top. It's the only thing that will fit in there without modifying the positive terminal. That means bending it outwards, which can be rather risky. You could break it, and then you're out of luck. So if you don't want to mess around with that, take the screw out, and you can put a 3000 cell in there. Boom, you're done. You've upgraded this cheap, whatever, no-name battery that's in here. Usually they're around 1200 to 2000 depending I don't know what this one tested, but it wasn't good. But you can you know, upgrade your $14 radio with a $5 battery. You're still under 20 bucks, and you have higher capacity. Nice. And that's the same goes with my favorite radio that I use almost all the time uh, that uses these batteries is the Prunus J150 BTS. I love this radio. It's absolutely fantastic. It's got a retro style to it. Um, it's a media player. Uh, Bluetooth, it has everything. Um, uh, it plays shortwave well. It does uh, AM, FM, fantastic. It's got a solar panel on the back. Um, it takes D cells or an 18650 unprotected button top. Uh, and the cool thing is, is you can modify, which I did with this radio, but it's a little risky again by bending that positive terminal to accept flat top batteries. But uh, I recommend not doing that and just picking up one of these and popping it in there and you're done. And now you got a capacity much greater than what they give you with this radio because they give you a 1200 milliamp hour unprotected button top in here. So yeah, Prunus, I hope you see this video too and you upgrade the battery at least. That'd be nice. But uh, yeah, otherwise just spend the five bucks or two in pack and put one in your Prunus there and you're rocking. So great little radio. I love that radio. So, yeah, uh, we're almost done. So one last thing I wanted to mention, uh, there are other batteries out there, of course, and I'm going to mention it because there's people here. I want a premium battery. Well, you can get a premium battery. Here is the Samsung. This is the 3500, uh, 35E, which is yeah, 3500. This thing's absolutely amazing. Definitely feels weightier. I tested this one. It came out to really close 3500 on my tester, which is absolutely fantastic. And this will fit in all the radios I just showed you. Um, the thing with this battery is, it costs $7.99 by itself, and that's not counting the shipping. When you buy this from 18650batterystore.com, you can look that up, um, you have a flat rate shipping, I believe, over 10 bucks. So you have to put a big order in to get kind of any value. So you got to 
get a bunch of batteries with some friends and do that. If you just get one battery from that site, it's going to cost you about 20 bucks probably. So one battery, 20 bucks or four batteries for 20 bucks. Um, so that's something to think about. If you have to have the best, best of the best, uh, you pick this up and you put it in your D808. You don't buy this $20 battery and put it into your Vidaeas or your Prunus because those radios are like $25 radio or $13 radio. It just doesn't make sense. Just get the XH Datas. But these are available and they are nice. So, just thought I'd show it to you. And I think they're having a sale right now on their website. They have some cheaper Chinese cells, the EVEs, which are pretty good. 2500 milliamp hour advertised and their button top unprotected button tops for $1.99 but just keep in mind you still got to pay that flat rate shipping which I believe again is a little over 10 bucks uh, so you have to put an order in um, probably four cells at least so you'll still be um, near 20 bucks uh, you can give that a try uh, but capacity wise you might be doing better with these yellow cells so there you are we're done. The XH data, these get a upvote for me. I like them. The capacity is decent enough. The holds their voltage. Um, we'll have to do an update follow up and let you know how these perform, uh, maybe like in a six month time period, and let you know how these do capacity wise and uh, voltage, uh, how they're holding their voltages. So there it is. Hope you enjoyed this video. Give me a like if you did. Two, if you like XH data products, like the radios. Uh, you want to support the channel, I put some links to some of the radios I showed you in the video. Um, definitely uh, pick one up. Uh, enjoy Shortwave. It's absolutely phenomenal out there. There's still a lot to find. And of course, uh, make sure to subscribe at the bell icon. And three, comment below what you think about these new cells. Uh, would you pick them up? Would you upgrade your subpar 2000s? I'd say yes, uh, but that's up to you to decide. Uh, or are you in the market for more of a premium cell? This one here. So if you have any questions, just put in the comments below and let me know. All right, guys, take care, and we'll see you in my next video.